This video will discuss the entropy that occurs during an expansion or a compression of an ideal gas. So we looked at in the previous video for reversible processes, we defined a quantity called the entropy, where the change in the entropy dS is equal to the reversible heat divided by the temperature. So for some tiny change in the system, dS equals dQ rev over T. And S was an extensive state function, so it only depends on the final and the initial conditions of the system and not the path that it took to go between them. So delta S during a process is the final entropy minus the initial entropy, which equals the integral from initial to final state of dS, which equals the integral from initial to final state of dQ rev over T. So for reversible isothermal processes, we have that the energy change of the system is equal to zero, which is also equal to the heat plus the work, dQ rev plus dW rev. If we rearrange this for the heat, dQ rev equals negative dW rev when the change in internal energy is zero. The reversible work is minus nRT over V dV, so the negative of that is plus nRT over V dV. So for our process, where we say delta S equals the integral of dS or the integral of dQ rev over T. We have dQ rev here is equal to this. Now we need to divide by T. So nRT over V dV divided by T is nR over V dV. So this will be the integral from the initial volume to the final volume of the number of moles times the gas constant divided by the volume. So when we do that integral, we get nR log V final minus nR log V initial. So that's delta S equals nR log V final over V initial, or the change in entropy of our system during an isothermal expansion or compression is related to the total volume of the system. So as the volume of the system goes up, the entropy of the system goes up, provided that our temperature stays the same isothermal meaning same temperature. By contrast, for reversible adiabatic processes, we have that the heat is equal to zero for adiabatic processes. So dS being dQ rev over T is going to equal zero over T, which will be zero. So our integral of dS is just going to be an integral of zero. So our change in entropy during any adiabatic expansion or compression of an ideal gas is going to be zero. So as the volume goes up, we saw that the entropy does go up, but as the temperature goes down, the entropy goes down as well. And it's these two effects which cancel out perfectly in adiabatic expansion and compression. The amount that the entropy increases due to the increased volume is exactly canceled by the amount it decreases due to that decreased temperature.